Hello and welcome back to another place. Let's see what they're hiding in the basement. I still say they're just cannibals. Let's see. Ah, damn it. Ripped open, gutted, and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. Yeah. Let's see what they got for me. Diet, that what you like? Master, not at all. Tate like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail, we've no strength to plow or sow, but we gotta eat. I pity, Master. Vow never to eat another bite of human flesh, and I'll let you live. Oh, I swear. Swear it on dear Mother Melitale, on the eternal fire, on... Keep the gods out of it. Swear on your heads, which I will take if you break your vow. I... we swear. You live in the middle of nowhere. It's out of my way. But I'll be back. Better believe I'll be back. <laughs> That's how you fucking tell him, Geralt. What's this over there? Bandit camp. Oh. Okay. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Ran into trouble. A freak event. Of what type? Did monsters attack him? Mm hmm. Could say that. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Man, it. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well. It will. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go and form all gear that the task has been. things. That was a cool quest. But yeah, it makes sense. Old people in the woods not able to work the field. What is a man to do? He's gotta eat. Since this war to never do it again, I let them live. I mean, it's like... Well... They were desperate, right? I know what desperation is, so... Let them be desperate. My mum says I'll turn into a stringer, but I don't 
shall pass. Ooh. Hulk! You gotta pay the war levy. This again. Shut it and pay. Already paid. Once is enough. Spy. Let's arrest him. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witch would make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. A wide berth? good folk are like necrophages. Vile in appearance and reeking of dead men's bile. It's rotting flesh they truly crave. To kill one or the other is a service to mankind. The Witcher, get out of review. I don't think you know what you're doing. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. We've got here a couple blacksmiths. Best words this side of the pond Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Uh... Can you like? in your little shop here. Diagram, diagram. So long. Okay. Let's say Quip Dancer there. There we go. Hello, all geared. How much for a herring? Crown a piece. <laughs> what are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. 
Forgot which is Estera. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. All right. Rest in peace, Vladimir. <laughs> the revelry is over. Okay, let's see. There's the quest. Find someone who can speak with a fury. While wandering the Redanian borderlands, Geralt happened to pass across some crafting diagrams written in a foreign tongue. He supposed the language was a fury, but not being a linguist, he would, could not be certain. Wanting to resolve this mystery, he decided to look around for a fury. Having made the indisputable deduction that that where there are fury documents, there must surely be furies as well. You want me to go in that direction? It's interesting. What's the world map say? Okay, Brunvik. Okay. Find ourselves. Fast travel thing and go to Brunwick. Should also be easy enough to find ourselves some drowners sooner or later. Maybe go to the swamp, look for them. Right now, let's go to Brunwick. Wait a minute. That thing gazing in the wind over there. That's a noon rave. Kill it. You cannot rest here, girl. away from the fast road marker but duty kind of cold that was awesome being able to spot a monster type right there oh geez that was awesome <laughs> that was fucking great <laughs> Just being able to look at something in the distance and say, wait, that does not move. Like what I thought it would. That must be a wraith. That must be a noon wraith. It is noon, is it not? Jeez, that was awesome. That felt awesome. I know it's it's a very little thing, but... That was pretty awesome. That felt pretty fucking awesome. That felt like actually being a witcher. <laughs> Just for a little while. Ok, 
Okay. Lots of horses here. Wild mares. What are they doing so close to the road? Get away from here, guys. Want a black stallion? Come on, boy. I will ride you in... Good. Caught myself a horse. It didn't even occur to me that, of course, you can steal horses in this game. I didn't steal this boy, though. He's all mine. Family, but yeah, you'll have fun going on adventures. Do I get to keep him? That would be awesome. I wonder if next time I call my horse, it will be this guy instead of Roach. Then again, Carol just calls all these horses roads, so maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go! A long way and with dangerous fraud. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. <laughs> the long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore. Virgin lands discover. New knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new? To stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Found this diagram. Think the markings might be Ophiri. Can't decipher them. Willing to help? This writing I recognize. We arrived in this land to immediate trouble. Local men, frankly rogues. Attacked we were. These are good instructions to forge fantastic gears fit for a king. To the ruler here I was to present them. But assist me. Retrieve the entire set, and I shall draft duplicates marked in the tongue of your craftsmen. Sounds like a fair deal. Think I can probably find those diagrams for you. These bandits, they knights seemed. They blow even harder. Where did it happen, this attack? At the crossroads. A sawmill near to it. And the ruins of a residence to the north, I believe. See what I can do. Farewell. Okay.
That seems awesome. Wait, did he have another quest for me? It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Awesome. Move it. Faster. Be swift. I would see you at full speed. Awesome. Awesome. The hell? Mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. Our contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, Roach? Ah, much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time. When love brought together the skies and Ooh, the steps, story time. and from their union was born the first mare, weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them, her milk fed them, strong they grew, and she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. That was awesome! Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered, and your legs failed you. <laughs> what here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a moonwright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Hmm... Hmm. 
Control dim. Control dim card, of course. I will see you around. You are an honorable Take merchant now. indeed. Go, and in the world glory, its never ending creation be praised. Farewell. You, sir, are fucking awesome. Come on, Roach. Let's put on that new saddle. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Heartman Place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye!